to burn, so I'm going to keep a really close eye on this. This shouldn't need too long. Maybe about one minute, if that. I'll be right back. I've added my lemon and garlic to my asparagus, and now it's time to combine about a tablespoon of butter with my mixture of Parmesan and breadcrumbs. What I did for this mixture is I added about one-fourth of a cup of Parmesan and an eighth of a cup of breadcrumbs. I didn't want it to be too breadcrumby and dry. I really wanted it to be moist with the Parmesan. Here we go. So I'm going to add my butter and just mix it together to create a little bit of a crumble to put on top of my asparagus when it goes into the broiler. Now I'm going to add my crumble. You can always spread it out once you have it on. I'm not adding too much, I just want it to be nice and cheesy. Perfect. Let's put this in the broiler. I'm going to leave it in there for about two to three minutes to get nice and crispy. And kids, if you're doing this, make sure you have some hefty oven mitts on so you, so they don't, so you don't get burned. Beautiful. The breadcrumbs are nice and crispy and the asparagus looks nice and roasted. I'm Olivia Austin. This has been a wonderful ABC Cafe and I'll see you next time.